charges that should be uh, it needs uh, such actions need courage and boldness uh, so I think uh, it has been because what we've seen on the television uh, Israelis uh, not wanting to leave mm -hmm. being forced out uh, this is a courageous thing to do mm -hmm. and we hope that he shows equal amount of courage uh, finally in the creation of the Palestinian state. state. I, I personally think yes, there is an underworld. There is uh, an underworld of these extremist organizations having linkages with each other. Uh, the most dangerous linkage is financial underworld where they a lot of funds, a lot of money moves. It is political dispute. Al-Qaeda is there in the mountains of Pakistan. They are still there. But they are there in small, much smaller numbers. When we went into operations, they were in hundreds. Now all the intelligence that we get, wherever from, they are in a, maybe a dozen or ten or eight people. And we are acting against them continuously. If there is a time frame, no, there is no time frame as such. But uh, certainly I have been saying that uh, since uh, I have developed an equation, personal equation with Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, and I feel that uh, there is optimism on both sides. Uh, there is a positive response towards resolution of the dispute on both sides. We need to uh, achieve this within our uh, tenures. Now, you should guess uh, what our tenures are, uh, both of us. I see a future of People's Party. It's a great party. It's one of the mainstream parties of Pakistan. But according to the constitution of Pakistan at the moment, Benazir has had two tenures here, and she's not eligible to become a Prime Minister again.